Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from All of Road. I'm here at Lake Eyre. Behind me is the Ward Burton and the Kalakupa. And to get here, we had to travel three days cross country without tracks. In such uh, remote locations, it is very important to have multiple emergency uh, response system in place, uh, which means set phone as well as a PLB. And while I already have one PLB in my vehicle, which permanent is in my center console, but I was looking to get a second PLB for my grab bag, which is the bag which I have in my vehicle. And if I go for a walk in these kind of remote locations, that is a PLB I have with me. Um, KTI uh, kindly sent me one of their PLBs and I was quite keen on that one because it is very, very small. It is the smallest beacon I have seen on the market. And I thought I'd run through a few features with you. The PLB transmits a digital and satellite compatible distress signal on 4 or 6 MHz and a homing signal on 121.5 MHz. The GPS receiver inside the PLB has 66 receiving channels. In line with the COSPAS SARSAT requirements, it sends a distress uh, transmission every 50 seconds. And the GPS receiver inside the PLB updates every 5 minutes. The majority of PLBs only update every 20 minutes. It has up to 3 meter accuracy, so if I would set this PLB off within 3 meters of me, uh, emergency response can actually locate me um, and even better it has a 10-year battery life so the most beacons have a five-year battery life then you can replace the battery however the KTI claims a 10-year battery life as a matter of fact the shelf life of the battery is supposed to be 20 years but after 10 years you are supposed to um, replace the battery so that's pretty cool and again, I really like the small form factor. So just have it in your bag and that can fit, fit on your belt or in your backpack. So it's very handy and really something you should never go without if you go anywhere bush. In the package is also a small little mirror here, but that's pretty much all what comes with it. So keep in mind the PLB should only be set off in, in a life and death situation. For example, if we had a snake bite uh, out here or a serious injury or we were stranded here for several days and had uh, no more water. Um, you know, life-threatening situations, not because somewhere on the highway you run out of fuel or you lost your way a little bit, should always be the last resort because it will set uh, rescue and emergency services into motion and the rescue can be quite expensive. However, if that is your last resort, you have to set the beacon off. You slide this red button down. Underneath is another button. You place the antenna up, place it on a flat open area ideally, and then push the button down and hold it pushed until the light starts blinking green. And then you leave that uh, beacon in place. Obviously you're going to stay close to it because that's what search and rescue will use to locate your location. Yeah, the KTI beacon I really have always in my grab bag because it's so small and really has a 10-year battery life. So that's very handy. While the KTI PLB is buoyant, that means it, it won't sink, it's not an EPIRB. So it is designed for land-based uh, operations, not for water-based operations, for what you would get an EPIRB. The KTI has a cold start acquisition time of 35 seconds, which is very fast. So as soon as you activate the beacon, within 35 seconds, it actually starts uh, transmitting your location. The beacon only weighs 140 grams, so it's very light. Its accuracy is only limited by the COSPAS SASAT system, which is pretty much the government satellite system where all these or the most PLBs work on. A few of the other features are that you actually can engage with one hand. So if you're incapacitated for whatever reason, 
you can engage it with one hand, pull it down, push the button. Um, it also comes with a 10-year warranty, which is pretty good. And as I mentioned, the battery has a 20-year shelf life. However, after 10 years, you are supposed to exchange the battery. The antenna is uh, marine-grade stainless steel, so it won't rust or corrode. Once you activate uh, the beacon, it also has a strobe light, which will go on in intervals. So even in the dark, if there is, for example, an air rescue, they should see the strobe light going on and off. So it's a pretty tricked out unit. KTI is an Australian company and they manufacture emergency beacons for quite some time. So they are not a new player in the market and understand what they are doing. For full transparency, I contacted uh, KTI uh, and asked for a unit to test because I wanted a second unit for my grab bag and I like that the KTI has 10 year battery life and a much smaller form factor than most other PLBs. Keep in mind, I also carry a spot which could second as PLB, but again, I like to have a dedicated uh, device as a PLB because my spot, I can run out of batteries. I actually have already on that trip. Uh, fortunately, I had a spare set with me, but the PLB is really my last uh, emergency rescue line and I know that that battery, as long as it's lower than 10 years, will always work and I can do a simple self-test. And it really does nothing else than being a PLB, while the spot obviously it uh, is a multifunction device in a way. To test the unit, and you shouldn't uh, do that too often, I'm going to press the uh, blue button here for around a second. Now I see a red light coming on here. I see a green light coming on here and that showed me that everything is working fine. So you press the button, red light, then the white strobe and the green light. Uh, again, important unobstructed antenna, clear view of the sky. So really, in my opinion, anyone who goes bush, who do, does four-wheel driving in some remote locations, or sometimes you don't even have to be that remote. I mean, we, we had a guy in the Wadigans who got stranded on his motorbike there, and he would have had a very long way out if he was more serious injured. So in my opinion, a PLB, really every four-wheel driver should have in his vehicle. And if you do stuff away from your four-wheel drive, it pays either take the same one into your bag. I prefer to have two one in the car and one in my grab bag, so that if I grab that bag, I know everything is in there. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope uh, that information about the KTI PLB may have helped some of you if you're in the market for a beacon. Um, and uh, maybe that makes your choice easier. We're heading off tomorrow again into the desert. We spent now a day here and uh, continue our desert trip, which will last for another two weeks. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you uh, get a notification when a new video is out. And please leave me a comment what PLB you prefer.